In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of DocuSign, PandaDoc, or any other type of contract signing software. With Go High Level's recent feature release, you can now do this natively within Go High Level. So I was super excited when I found out about this. If you're anything like me, you like to save money and just keep everything centralized, right? That's the beauty of Go High Level. So let's dive in. I'll also show you a couple of ways that we automate signing up new clients just to make it really streamlined. So let's dive in. So if you log into your Go High Level dashboard, you're gonna go over to payments, you're gonna go over to documents and contracts. Okay, go to templates. And this is where you're gonna create your new template. So you're gonna go click new, upload a PDF. Okay. Drag your PDF file, upload it, click upload. Processing file, boom. By the way, if you don't know how to create a PDF doc, just go to Google Doc, upload your client agreement, file, download, download as a PDF. All right, so I use Google Docs for all of this types of, type of stuff. Let's go back. So now it is here. First step, you're gonna go to the plus sign, add an element, text field. You're gonna drop that right in there. Okay, this is for the name of the client. Assign recipient to text field, yep. Okay, I will just leave that blank. Next is the fun part. You're gonna go and another, add another text element. What we're gonna do here is click this little button of custom values, and then you're gonna choose your custom value plan. Here we go. I'll show you how to do this, what this means. So for me, this custom value, is correlated to the form. This is my sales form that we use. Every time we sign up a client, myself or the closer fills this out on behalf of the client, and then they choose whichever plan that they signed them up on, all right? So if they did a 6,500 paid in full, what, ha what happens when they submit this form, it's gonna pull this information into the DocuSign based on this custom value. So I love this, super cool because not every client is the same investment. Uh, that's not the same package, right? So you can have custom packages in the form and I'll show you how to do that in the form. And, but this is where you would put it. You would choose the custom value, right? Just type in the name of the custom value. What plan are they on? That's how I find it, okay? And then that's gonna automatically pull in whatever you put on that form is gonna pull it in right there. And this would be assign this to yourself to be filled by you boom and then you can choose the uh, initials right here and then you're just going to add text fields for the rest of this the uh, document here signature right pretty straightforward put the text fields for their name credit card boom and now you would save that now you have a template, super easy. Make sure you name it, Accelerator Agreement, because that's gonna get sent to the client, okay, when you, when you use it. All right, so that's how you create the PDF. That's how you create the contract within high level. Let's talk about the form, the sales form. This is what would trigger sending the PDF, right? So this is what we use as a trigger, as a sales form, because this triggers a bunch of things like the welcome, onboarding text message and email it for it sends the client to the uh, contract it also pulls in information into our slack in our monday.com crm so that we use this we don't use the sas configurator because the sas configurator can only go up to two thousand dollars a month it doesn't let us do our plans which we charge 2500 a month so we use this form so let's go in and show you how to build the form right so you're gonna go back all right you're just gonna click sites go to forms add a form start from scratch okay go to the plus sign and this is we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom you're gonna click custom fields you're gonna scroll to the bottom add custom fields you're gonna hit radio select okay click next what plan are they on? Okay, and then you're gonna add all your options here. 2,500 a month, 
three month agreement. So make sure you word it in a way that makes sense for the client as well. Three month agreement, 2,500 after the three months, something like that. All right. So you're gonna add all your options and that is going to look like this. Okay, what are all the options you provide from your, per your business, whether it's SaaS, whether it's an SMMA, you're doing services, whatever you want, just make sure it's all here. Okay. And then make sure you take note of the name. All right, make sure you take note of the name because that's how you're gonna find the custom value later on. And then under group, I put everything under additional info. Okay, allow custom values, and then you're gonna click save. I'm not gonna save that since I don't wanna create a bunch of uh, other custom values in my, uh, in my account. So once you do that, then you're just gonna add it in there. All right, what plan? Boom gonna look like that have the form now your forms all set up obviously you're gonna add whatever other fields you want this is how we have it set up full name email phone number all of this has to match the clients information so if you're signing up a client and they're already a contact in your go high level CRM sub account you, you want to make sure it's the exact same information their email their phone number okay and then uh, what we're gonna do next is set up the automation so next we're gonna to go to the automations. So that's gonna be under workflows, automation, workflow. Mine is right here. Sales form submitted. You can you can have the trigger be, like if you're just focusing on SaaS, you can have it be uh, order form, right? Order form submission, or order submitted, right? And that can be, I don't think it's order. Yeah, order form submission in the funnel that they signed up in, you would choose the funnel and it can trigger off of the funnel page. I have it, like I said earlier, based on the form submission. The only wonky thing here is you have to create a um, a new trigger for each plan that you have. So <laughs> that's the only annoying part because uh, or else it won't pull in the information. So if you have this many plans, which we're gonna clean this up, we don't have that many options anymore. Uh, you would just have to create a trigger for each form right so for each custom value what plan are they on you would have to choose each one and each one would have to be a trigger i found out the hard way because it didn't work for whatever reason just have it in under the one form so i don't know that's weird just is what it is so then we have this assigned to uh send documents right so that's the send documents that's what you're gonna do. Documents and contract from user, template, just choose your template there. Boom, and that's it. And then it'll trigger and then it'll send. So a couple of, so a couple of, uh, so a couple other automations I use with this, with anytime we sign up a new client is sending them to Slack, all right? So you have to use Zapier for this but we use Zapier to send that new information for that new client into the Slack channel so that the rest of the team can know about it. And then we also use Zapier to send, here we go. So it catches the webhook, right? So the webhook would be right here. Webhook post, grab this URL, catch the webhook, sends the message in Slack and then creates an item in monday.com. So that way it pulls all of our um, information directly into Monday. All these little things that helps save your team time, especially if you're doing it all yourself, which I have a team that helps with onboarding, but if you're doing all this yourself, you definitely wanna have these automations set up. So that way, now your new clients in, in your monday.com CRM. If you don't know what monday.com is, that's a CRM for managing. We use it to manage all of our clients' uh, information, updates on each client, everything that happens, Every communication with the client is put in monday.com. So lastly, you just want to go and test this yourself, right? So go ahead and use template, put yourself in your sub account as a contact, and then you're going to add the recipient here, right? To test it out, or you can just test your form, fill out your form, right? Make sure the trigger's working properly. 
and go ahead and click send. All right, and then it's gonna send to your email. This is what it looks like. Boom, view proposal. And then the client would just come in here, put their information in, see it pulled in. Boom, perfect, pull that in. And then they would just sign and put in all of their credit card info. Well, there you have it. Now you can cancel DocuSign, PandaDoc, whatever other software you use. This one that I've been super excited about is High Level is an all-in-one solution, man. And they continue to improve and release new features like this to make it easy on us agency owners. So if you're not using Go High Level yet, I'll drop a free 14-day trial link below. If you're trying to start your own SaaS or agency business, I have a free course. Whether you're going the SaaS playbook or the SMMA playbook, I have both. I've done both. I've been doing this for five years. So I've got free courses is for my affiliates. I'll drop the link to that as well. And if you want some one-on-one -on -one coaching, I do have a couple slots for that. Take on a handful of people every month and coach you one-on-one, -on -one, very intimate. None of this uh, group coaching stuff. It's just all one-on-one. -on -one. So I'll drop the link to that as well. Other than that, see you in the next video.